Hallelujah to Jesus. We give God a praise. Let God be exalted forever in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. This is God's own channel with Evangelist Sarah. You are welcome. The Lord bless you. The Lord bless every member of this household. It is well with you, Jesus, to have you. And I love you. Please, family, like this video, share, subscribe. Tell somebody about this ministry. God bless you. And say, do that in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Yes, they have been fighting against you. I know. It is no longer a secret that they don't like you. It is no longer a secret that you have been fighting and fighting and fighting and fighting. Battle upon battle. It is no longer a secret. Everyone knows. You know the truth. But hear me very well, child of God. It is unveiled now. That the reason why these people keep fighting against you, it is out of jealousy. It is out of envy. It is out of hatred. They are like, if their life is not good, your own should not be good. But hear me very well, child of God. Because you did not wish anyone evil. Because you did not plan evil or against anyone. Anyone that is fighting you, God shall fight them for you in the name of Jesus. Anyone that is just looking at you with the eyes of jealousy. And that is the reason why they are fighting you. Because they know if they let you go, you are going to take over that territory. Let me tell you, that same territory that they are afraid of, that they don't want you to take over. You are taking over it. You are taking over it. Let me tell you one thing. Your father owns the land. God owns the land. He is the creator of the land. In that land where the Lord plants you, child of God, you will sow in that land and you will reap in thousandfold. It does not matter which land you are. But most in the right know when the hand of the Lord is upon you, wherever land that you find yourself, you will be fruitful. The Bible says, Isaac sow in the land. <laughs> Isaac sow in the land and reap in thousands and reap in abundance and reap in hundred in that same year, even in the midst of drought. Now, this is why they have been fighting you. Because they are scared. They don't want you to prosper in that land. <laughs> they don't want you to break barrier. They don't want you to break limits. Whether the devil like it or not, child of God, you will still break that barrier. You will still break that limit. You see, those who have been fighting you because they don't want you to excel, <laughs> something terrible and tragic will happen to them if they refuse to let you, if they refuse to let you go. And God says to Pharaoh, he said, Pharaoh, let my people go. What did Pharaoh do? Pharaoh refused. What happened to Pharaoh, you know. What happened to every first son in that land, you know. What happened to them in the, in the, in the Red Sea, you know. It is no longer a story. They have to release the people of God. Child of God, hear me very well. They are fighting against you because they don't want you to excel. <laughs> They are fighting against you out of jealousy. Out of jealousy. Like if I am not doing it, you should not do it. If I am not blessed, you should not be blessed. Hear me, child of God. God will bless you. <laughs> no matter the fight that they are fighting, God will still bless you. Even in the midst of drought, God will still bless you. And I will speak to you. <laughs> no matter the fight that they are fighting you, if they refuse to let go, you know, I love those that love to say they should nothing terrible should happen to them. I love those who can pray that prayer anyway. But one thing I want to tell you, don't you don't have to allow the devil to kill you before you stop there. Because the thing that they want to happen to you, it is a terrible thing. That is why they are fighting you. So that terrible thing needs to happen back to them because you must excel. Because you must be who God says you will be. In that territory, you must rule. You must possess the land. The Bible says, Ye are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood. So you must rule. In the name of Jesus, I pray for you. The Lord fight your battle. It is well with you, Jesus. Love you. And I love you with the love of Christ. I remain your sister, Evangelist Sarah. By the grace of God, I will see you again. Bye-bye.